Hey guys, it's Kyle here. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing my first two weeks post labral repair surgery. In a previous video, I kind of took you through pre-surgery, the surgery itself, and then a couple of days after surgery. So really in this, I'm just going to show like what I'm doing so you can see how I progress through the weeks in physical therapy and overall like range of motion. Hope you enjoy. Today is Tuesday, June 21st. I had surgery Thursday, June 16th. I have my first PT appointment today and I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't done much with my arm besides like keep it in the sling. I'll have my mom take some videos so you can kind of get a better idea of what I'm actually doing in the first PT. All right, so I'm going to leave and we're gonna go watch slash coach some high school league. Hair washing time. Yay me. This is gonna go real well. Mark. Okay. <laughs> That'll make it go better. This towel is gonna get soaked, but whatever. Pretend you're at a nice salon. Everything's fancy. What if I just cut all your hair off? <laughs> I can't breathe. <gasps> That's really cold! Currently on a hot girl walk with my mom. Good morning. Today is officially one full week of recovery. I'm one week in. Amazing. Today I think I'm just gonna go to the gym again. I might do a morning routine. I think I'm gonna do that actually. Because sleeping in a chair is extremely hard. I usually wake up pretty early so it's 621 right now, but I'm just watching Criminal Minds. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my coffee. My iced coffee that I made last night. Cashew milk, chocolate caramel creamer. That one's gross. It's the only one we have. She's not very good at this yet. Uh -oh. You're gonna wanna add some ice to it. Add your coffee. Milk, cream, and then, uh, and then syrup. Gorgeous. This is my new cup from Ross, by the way. You got your coffee. And obviously for breakfast, my mom has to help me because it's really hard with one hand. Good morning. Now I'm gonna go to the gym and work these legs. Let's get it. Good morning. Yesterday I did the day in my life summer edition video. Today is Monday, June 27th, so we're closing up on week number two. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, I had PT this morning, I'll put in some clips. I have contact day for volleyball tonight, so I'll just be chilling there. Yeah, that's the plan for today.
All right, tonight I'm going to try to sleep in the bed. Hey guys. Hey guys, on our way to the second contact day. This year, I can be the social media manager. Yeah, you'd be good. I'm bringing my camera so I can do some like cool cinematic videos. Ha, ah, let's go, baby. Fit check. Rocks, spandex, can really. This is Katie, she's an outside. This is Macy, she's a setter. Columbia because it's about to rain and what is that shirt? Bugs, go bugs. So my name's Kyle. I'm a right side, but I tore my labrum, so I can't play. But I'm wearing some shorts, this cute shirt with biker shorts underneath. Where are you committed to? University of Alabama, baby. Roll Tide. Tide. There's Ava Rank. Where's it from? Nike. Uh, Nike. Uh, shoes. <laughs> Easy. This coach Nate. He likes basketball. I got a Nike pullover, Nike shorts and Pegasus shoes. Nike, Nike, Nike out. Oh! I know I look horrendous. You're gonna show up. I'm sorry, I'm not in the short guys. <laughs> oh, I love these. The floss, I love them. What you know about me? What you, what you know about me? Contact day complete. They had conditioning. It was really, really, really hard. Happy two weeks. The second week definitely went by a lot slower than the first week, but I'm one third done with this brace, so that makes me pretty happy. I took a little step forward today. You know what? I took a big step forward today. Um, today I am working the volleyball camp for the little kids, and then we have our last contact day. Don't scare me. Hey guys, um, good morning. Today's officially two weeks and one day of recovery. I have my post-op appointment this morning. I think I'm gonna get my stitches out and look at some like pictures and stuff of the surgery because they use like a tiny little camera to do the surgery. We were gonna go to Summerfest, but Mindy over here will not let me because not safe. Lots of volleyball too, lots of open gyms. I'll insert some clips from yesterday, from the day before, whatever. And I also a social media manager. I think I said that. I said that. Okay. Post-op appointment complete. Just had my stitches removed. Said it's looking good. Yeah, so now I don't have to use the waterproof thing for when I shower. I saw some pictures. I don't understand any of it. It makes no sense. I thought it was an ear at first. Um and I can go to the Alabama camp, so double, triple plus. Okay guys, I just got back from the Alabama camp, so it's been a while since I last talked to you. I think it's been over a week. After I got my stitches out, there was a week that went by. We left on Wednesday night for the Alabama camp and we got back really early Monday morning. It's currently Tuesday. So I'll put that Alabama video up right now. Go watch it. It was a really fun time. Loved hanging out with the girls. I'm just gonna continue with this video to just keep telling you updates about my life. I have physical therapy today. Um, it went really well. I'm closing out on my fourth week, which is super exciting. Only two more weeks until I get my brace off. Woo! Why does it literally look blue? Okay, whatever. I've been able to shower standing and alone, which has been so nice because I miss like showering. I don't know if that makes sense, but like it's a good like reset for my day. So it's such like a simple thing that Feel like most people overlook like wow it's just a shower but it's a relief to be able to just do my own thing and not rely on other people so yeah hello you guys um i'm currently getting ready to go get coffee what if we take pictures and then do coffee after but i want to like kind of go all drifting is that okay with you yeah yeah, I don't really care. We can just skip that part. Okay, so vlog, we're not going to coffee. We're just gonna go take pictures and thrift. Hardcore thrift. <laughs> They 
one phone call. Got, got some houses, you. Thanks. Some car suits, it's really not that hard. Yeah, ye, little brother, take your China roast me. What? Don't forget, boy, you were my shadow, my mind. Um, today marks exactly five weeks post-op. So one more week in this brace and then I get it off. Clearly I was up north this past weekend and then this week I don't really know what I'm doing. My shoulder's been feeling sore a lot more. Like earlier on in recovery, it was a lot more mental than physical. I'm starting to feel that soreness and it's, just, it's painful physically as well as mentally. It's not like mentally painful, it's just like exhausting. <laughs> Yo, 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 today is five weeks and one day. Something that I forgot to actually say the last time was that we bought the ice machine. So the fancy old like ice machine that we had that we were renting, got rid of it, well we sent it back before I went to the Alabama camp and I realized how nice it actually was. So we bought it because I'll obviously be able to use it for many different injuries throughout this year of like recovery it'll be super nice to just be able to go to sleep and let it go on so yeah so today is saturday me and serena went to the farmer's market today we bought some flowers we walked around a little bit it was super hot outside we went to target beforehand got some necessities from target obviously overall just a really good day my grandma is in town that's that's what we did today. Basically, today I had PT, I got to do the arm bike thing, and I can start getting out of my brace. It's only Tuesday today, and I can fully be out of it on Thursday, but yeah, I'm excited. I am getting a rash. I don't really know what the deal is with that. But I get to drive tomorrow, which is so exciting. I've waited so long to be able to drive again. Yeah, I feel like this is such a big moment in my recovery. I mean, six weeks is a big deal. These six weeks, they were very tough, but they did fly by. So I'm very grateful to that and all the people that have helped make these six weeks more bearable. They said like, I can't use my bicep for another five weeks, four weeks. Yeah. And I can tan again. That's what also what I've been doing. Obviously putting sunscreen on my scars so they can heal nicely and not look bad. <laughs> Good morning. It is six weeks today. I'm so excited. It's really early right now because I have PT. I'm about to drive. So let's get it. Hey y'all. Um, I didn't film like on the way because I was just really tired. But now I'm gonna film on the way home. Why are you holding on to that? Grab bar. I'm really, really, really hungry. Can I get out here? Sure. What? That was so rude. <laughs> and I get my nails done today. My shoulder's really sore from PT. And they just kept on going. Ice and ibuprofen. But yeah, I feel like driving's like fine. Like I thought I'd forget how to drive. I just like drive with this this hand and then this arm just kind of chills because like obviously I'm not supposed to be going moving my arm inwards, so I just have this hand just chilling. Six weeks, baby. That is crazy. I slept without my brace last night and that was okay. My arm, I showed you guys yesterday, but how my arm's like breaking up, not breaking out, but like kind of low-key. So it was just like so itchy last night. Okay, I just want to show you guys my nails that I just got. She did like such a great job on them. The detail is just impeccable. It was great. And I drove around so much. Oh, by the way, it's the next day. Last night I drove around and it's so nice. Like I forget like, it's like calming. Like I can just listen to music, just like chill, so. Yeah, do not take that for granted. I think I'm gonna end this video off here. This video was kind of longer than what I usually do. It, well, obviously it was six weeks of my life just compiled into one video. I'm hopeful that I can look at this 
in a couple months in a couple years whatever and just see like the experience i had because obviously it's not an experience like i'm not gonna forget about my shoulder but it'll be good to see like all the little things that i went through and also a lot of the fun moments that i did i think that's super important too is like you can still have fun still work out whatever i think this is the strongest my legs have ever been in my entire life <laughs> so i guess that's one plus side of not working out your arms but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed it um i hope this helps you guys out or is just like entertaining for you bye guys